Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to DFCU TV. My name is Helena Mayandra. I'm the head of corporate affairs and public relations. When you think DFCU bank, most people think women, entrepreneurs, investment clubs, agribusiness. And yes, DFCU Bank enables all of these things. Um, today, we are focusing on Women's Day. And with me in studio, I have two lovely ladies who are part of the leadership of DFCU. Like I said, DFCU is not just talking the talk with the women entrepreneurship, women in business, etc., but also walking the talk with our leadership actually being female. Welcome, ladies. Please introduce thank you. yourselves and tell us what you do at DFCU. So, Helena, thank you for the warm welcome. My You're name welcome. is Doreen Biarhanga. I am the Chief CIB Officer at DFCU Bank. Thank you very much. What is CIB? <laughs> Cut out. Uh, CIB stands for Corporate and Institutional Banking. Welcome. Thank you. And Angelina. Thank you, Helena. So my name is uh, Angelina Namakula Ofono, Chief Legal Officer and uh, Company Secretary at DFCU Bank. You are both very welcome. So I'd like you to tell us a word that best describes you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I think I would use resilience. Resilience. Yes. Okay. And how has resilience helped you in your career? leading up to DFCU, in the banking sector, and in your life in general? So I think resilience for me means the perseverance through whatever life presents at you. Mm -hmm. I think usually, and most, I'm sure most of our viewers will know, mm -hmm. that life isn't a straight line. You have a plan when you leave university, you usually have a plan of how life goes. Right, the picket fence, <laughs> yes. the dog, the two children, the marriage and the car. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> and it doesn't usually work that way. True. So I think resilience for me has meant that even when life serves you uh, a deck of cards that isn't the one that you thought you would have, mm -hmm. it's about what do I do with these cards to make the most of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And specifically in the banking sector, how has resilience helped you? Is there an example, a story, something you can give us? Juice. <laughs> um, I think it's also about um, working historically with the banks that I have worked for. Mm -hmm. You find that you are in a team of very competent people. Mm -hmm. And um, usually the disappointment comes from not getting the job that you wanted or that you hoped or you thought you were qualified for. But I have also learned in the banking sector that it's very dynamic. Mm. There's always movement and therefore that presents opportunities for all of us mm. to take advantage of. Yeah. Nicely done. Thank mm. you very much. And so Angelina, okay. what word best describes you? Um, so for me, it's... Um, at the uh, top of my head, it would be adaptable. Adaptable, okay. And how has adaptability helped you in your day-to-day -day work, in your career, getting up to a bank, lawyer, banker? How, how has this <laughs> shaped you? Yeah, so I always tell people I'm a lawyer, but working in a bank. So mm -hmm. I'm not actually a banker. But mm. I've uh, learned. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've learned banking skills along the way with over ten years' experience in the banking sector. Mm. So for me, the way I look at adaptability is the ability to be my best self in whichever environment I'm in. Mm. Uh, when you work at the level that we do, you deal with different people all the time. You're yeah. dealing with a board. Boards are different personalities. They yeah. come with different dynamics. So you have to be in a position to. Adapt to be adaptable to deal with the board personalities, yeah. the individuals who are headstrong. <laughs> so they will bring that. So you have to be able to adapt to deal with them. You also have to deal with um, executives mm -hmm. from the CEO to also the leadership team itself, mm -hmm. but also the rest of the, of the team. So you just need to be in a position to be adaptable. Whatever life throws at you, you have to be in a position to to change and yeah. be able to to deal with the situation the the piece for me is that as women as you grow um, in your profession 
you you become a mother along the way yeah. you continue to be a student along the way um you then have to be a leader you have to be a mentor you have to be a coach so you have to be able to make yourself you're almost adapting to the different environments that you're thrown into oh, and be in a position to be your very best self in yeah. every situation that is thrown at you so for me it's a word that just enables me to be able to float in whatever situation that i'm placed in nice it's similar to my word my word is consistency yes. so in whatever i do be consistent do it even when you do not want to do it even when you don't feel like doing it when when that morning you don't feel like whatever it is mothering you don't feel like sistering you don't feel like daughtering you don't feel like anything you just want to be yourself alone in your cocoon so you actually have, have to come up you have to be consistent in everything you do if it's uh we were talking about um your diet <laughs> be consistent with it otherwise you fall off and it doesn't work anymore if it's the way you present with your team yeah. at work True. if today you are a certain way and then tomorrow you're not okay element of surprise notwithstanding but really True. instilling that consistency in everything that you do so very similar words so just think of your the six-year-old in you i keep saying the six-year-old in me is alive and well think of the six-year-old in you think back actually at the six-year-old look back what would you say to her the six-year-old in you <laughs> any of Let you can take it first. yes please um, the six-year-old me, if I looked back, very cheeky, stubborn, I'm not too sure I would have ended up where I am, but well, you adapt along the way. So <laughs> I'd uh, tell any six-year-old, enjoy life, really. Mm. Do what makes you happy, what uh, allows you to wake up each morning, what what keeps you interested in what it is that you want to do. Mm. So my... My uh, feedback would be that do whatever makes you happy because ultimately, if you do what makes you happy, you'll always bring your very best self. Be passionate about what it is that you need to do. And, and like you said, be consistent, excellent. Be the very best that you can be. But for you to do that, you actually have to go through the different stages because when you're six, at that point, life is just starting out for you. You're yeah. enjoying your environment as you grow you change and adapt yourself to what it is that you want to be so really for me is to believe that you can be the very best mm -hmm. and actually grow with that belief that anything is possible and anything is achievable there's nothing that you can't do mm -hmm. as long as you set your mind to it that's what my guidance would be nice thank you very much angelina and you doreen <laughs> look into that camera <laughs> over there and speak to it like you're speaking to the six-year-old in you. What's your message for her? Um, I think I would say to her not to take life too seriously. I think somewhere along the way, I became too serious. So <laughs> it's to relax, take each day as it comes. Uh, there will be bumps, there will be hurdles, but equally, life can be enjoyable life can be fun and life can have purpose meaningful purpose that you can derive satisfaction and comfort from thank you very much so finally ladies looking ahead what are your hopes and aspirations for the future of women in the banking sector it mm -hmm. could be for both at dfcu and beyond um, in fairness, Helen, I think when I started out my career, mm -hmm. um, there were fewer women in leadership than we are today. So we've moved leaps and bounds. Absolutely. Um, but as with uh, anything human, it's never enough, is it? True. You always want more. Mm -hmm. So I would hope that we will see more women being brave enough, mm -hmm. being confident in themselves to believe that they can take up a leadership role in the banking sector, mm -hmm. in any sector or any role that presents itself. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes as female or as women, there are personal issues that come into play. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I have adapt, found, adapt, adapt. yes, I have found <laughs> that there are ways around these things. And technology these, hey, these days helps us a lot mm. to balance our lives. True. So I think it's just to say that there's a lot more that we can do. Thank you. And Angelina? Um, I think like Doreen has said, is that uh, we've actually come a long way. Mm. Um, I think uh, a few months back, an article um, came out with the women in the banking industry. Yes. And it showed that we had actually moved. We had more than 50 women mm. at senior positions in the banking industry. For me, what I'm looking, um, what I would want to see really um, for generally, not just banking industry, not just any of the private sector, but across the board, I think what I'm, I, I would hope to see and be alive to see is, like Doreen said, women confident enough in themselves mm. um, to take up these roles as they come along, um, but also those who are there to hold, keep holding their hands pull yeah. and pulling uh, each other up, not to push People ourselves down, down because mm. typically you find uh, that that's the, what is generalized as uh, women leaders, that those who reach the top just want to keep others down. So what I want to see more is that women pulling other women up, uh, just being able to mentor, to coach, yeah. to yeah. ensure that we actually have the right attitudes, the right skills, and also the belief that we shouldn't, that there's nothing impossible. Like for me, I keep going back to the fact that there's nothing impossible. <coughs> so for me, it's that belief, that confidence, that nothing should hold you back. But also um, not forgetting that we are the, the more empathetic Mm -hmm. person. As females, we were created to be more empathetic. So the understanding that we bring our whole selves, mm -hmm. you can't be a different person at home and then you're a different person at work. So that wholesome self, let's be able to allow ourselves to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and not to be uh, think that I have to act like a man for then people to take me seriously. seriously. Mm -hmm. It's good for us to be vulnerable, but just to in maintain that, but ensure that ultimately we see a lot more women at the executive levels not only in the private sector but even across the board really that for me is my 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 hope and dream and a hope for all of us thank you very much ladies thank you very much our viewers the words for the day consistency resilience adaptability we should be able to adapt to anything life throws at us of course thinking through our purpose and all of the other things. Yes? Yeah. So thank you.